Hello once again, this is James and welcome to my training videos. Today we are going to look at queries in design view. In this type of query, a user retrieves data basing on a specific condition. For example, you could be asked to design a query called GND to display all female students from the student's table. Let us go into our database and we see how that is done. So with me here I have a table called students having a list of students from different uh, fields and in this case they want us to list or to use a query to only display these female students to isolate them from the rest of the students so I can go ahead to my create up here you go to the create tab when you go to the create tab you can go ahead and look at the query options particularly we are interested in the query design this part here so I'll go ahead and click my query design it will broadcast the show table box which is this and in this it will show me my table students I'll click in it and I say add it will add my table I can adjust this to show all the fields available I can grab all my fields I can click in the first field hold shift and click in the last field it will highlight all my fields then I can drag them down here to the first field whereby it will populate all the fields into my table. Now down here they list a couple of items. The field is where the query is coming from, that is the column. The table is students. We can decide to sort the results of our query, ascending or descending or not sorted. Show this has a tick here. If this tick is removed, it will hide the contents of that column if you by mistake or intentionally you choose to remove the tick it means you want to hide the contents of that query as you're going to try it out now criteria is where I put the condition we want and if a field or if a, a query has two conditions but on the same field we can put that other condition in the all field as we shall see in the uh, coming queries so in this first case they told us to get uh, a query of all female students so what I'll do I'll come to the field of uh, let's zoom in a bit I'll come to the field of sex because that's where this, uh, the gender of the students are found then basing on our table we typed F to mean female so I'll simply type F there then I can go up here and run my query to show me the results of the query so if I click run you will notice that I will only get the female students so the title told me to call the query GND so I can come up here and I click save to save my query GND and I say ok so when we come back here to our task pane, you will notice that we have the query GND and even up here we have the query name GND but when we go back to our table now this we have one, two, three uh, females so if we check our query you see they are the same female students we have great, uh, let's continue to look at these queries, uh, the next set of queries we have they are saying uh, design a query to display uh, all male Catholic students. Okay, so how do we do that? Is the question. So, still, we shall go back to our create uh, design view, then we shall go ahead and add our table students we close to come up here and highlight you can click in the first one 
hold shift click in the last one drag down here to display all my fields now they've said they want all male catholic students here we have two conditions the previous query had one condition it was affecting sex this time it's affecting sex and religion so in the criteria for sex we shall put their aim and in the criteria for religion we shall put their catholic then we shall say run the query and you see that it will return all those who are male and catholic so that is how we do uh, a two conditional query we can save it as mc as they told us so we click save and we give it a name mc and we say ok notice that it will be put in our navigation pane we can go back and try out another query still uh, if I go to my next queries, they are saying we design a query called MC5 to display all male Catholic students whose fees balance is below 50,000 from the students table. So what will I do? I will still come back to my create query design. I will go ahead and add my table. Close this expand this to see all the fields I'll click in the first field hold shift click in the last one i use this to make it a bit faster then i have all my fields they said all uh, students who are male and they are catholic and their fees balance is below 50,000. these are now three conditions so how do we do that First, they should be male, so we put M. Next, they should be Catholics. And the other one affects the fees balance. So the fees whose fees balance is below 50,000. So we shall put a greater than, a less than sign. What do we do? Uh, put our less than sign, then we say 50,000. Less than 50,000. We go ahead to run our query and there will be one person who's male catholic and the fees balance is below 50,000 so if we go ahead to check our table here the males this is the person they've given us the other male who is there and catholic is male catholic but the fees balance is above 50,000 so this other one is male catholic and is the one who qualifies this other one is female catholic so the female part disqualifies though the fees balance would pass so that is how we do that query as well the query was asking us to get all male students who's who are catholic and whose fees balance is below 50,000 and lastly the other query we could try out is a query called ms to display all students from these corresponding houses Mwanga and Suna houses now this query has two conditions but in the same field how do we do that we go back to our table go back to create go to query design uh, we shall add our table come expand this to show all the fields it's a good practice to expand so that you don't miss out any field highlight all of them I told you the trick to highlighting is you click in the first one hold shift and click in the last then you drag point in any one of them and drag down to the fields area then they are saying they should be coming from the two houses that's what I was telling you in the beginning that if there are two conditions in the same field one of them is put in the criteria part and the other one is put in the O part. So we can put manga here. Uh, type it badly. Manga then I put so now. Then I go ahead to run the query. You notice that it will return only those as opposed to when we check the table, there are quite a number of them. So thanks for watching.
don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video